the title of our chapter on uh, climate change or global warming is uh, has something in it like what a mess. And it is a mess. Uh, it's an extremely difficult scientific problem. Uh, I know enough about the science and I know enough about the, the issues that people are dealing with uh, uh, to know that we are not anywhere near having the kind of predictive capability <clears throat> that we need to uh, be able to uh, extrapolate uh, into the future. Unfortunately, one of the things that has happened is that various people and organizations have hijacked something that is a legitimate area for research and have politicized it for various reasons. And that is extremely unfortunate. And uh, a, a number of things have come to light recently that illustrate that hijacking, that oversimplification, that distortion of, of the science and what the science really says. Uh, and, and therefore, there are still very large questions about uh, global warming. Not that it hasn't existed, but how much impact human activities have had on, uh, on global warming. That is still a very, very big uh, question. The science is messy, it's by no way uh, clear, and by the way, the international group that did the studies, part of which were hijacked by people that had their own ulterior motives, those studies uh, utilized a continual growing of world oil, coal, and natural gas production worldwide toward, till the end of the century. And we know that that's just plain dead wrong. There, we're going to go into oil production decline in the not distant, too distant future. Natural gas is a finite resource, and it will go into decline sometime after uh, oil production goes into decline. Uh, and coal is also a finite resource. So, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, the people who did that study glossed over the limitations of these finite resources. So there is simply not enough hydrocarbon there to push things to the extent that these folks have assumed. And so they have made a fundamental error that has to be, in fact, addressed. There's another point in all of this, and that is that uh, a number of us remember that a few years ago, people were concerned not about global warming, but global cooling. And in fact, there have been ice age and ice ages and little ice ages. And uh, in fact, there is credible literature that indicates that instead of global warming in the future, there may be global cooling. And if we do a number of things that people want us to do to fight global warming, in fact, we may make the global cooling problem much worse if indeed there is the kind of reversals in climate change that have occurred in the geological past. So this thing is by no means clear. And as I say, it's been hijacked by people who are, have other agendas than just great, straight science and uh, understanding what's really involved.